Hey everybody, it's Mama J and I am back with another comic book episode. Remember, we're pulling out, I don't know, around 15 comics per video. We're going to go through them and see which ones we're keeping, which ones we're not, and just so you guys can kind of see what's in the collection. And so that's why I've been doing these as videos instead of just separating them on my own. I'm letting you guys see what's out there and what I'm not keeping. You may be interested in, right? So first, this is actually a new one. I actually grabbed two of these because I have one put aside for Caitlin over at Caitlin's Crafts and Collectibles. But this is Dolly Parton with a Wonder Woman tribute cover. So that was pretty awesome. So that is definitely staying in my collection because I did just recently buy this, but I wanted to show it off. So I thought I'd throw it in here. Another one, which was recently just bought also, is this awesome one right here with pink. And this is the Female Force, which I am trying to get more of these because I think they're pretty awesome. I did just see pink last year in concert for the first time and bam, it was amazing. All right, on to the next one that I just bought also. This one is a Black Sabbath with Ozzy comic. So I wanted to grab that one because I knew I did not have this one. And actually, I bought all three of these from the same dealer, <laughs> from the same person. So that's pretty awesome to be able to add that one to my collection. So obviously, those three are staying. Now we have, which I believe this is an anime, RWBY Ruby. I'm, I'm guessing it's Ruby. So this is a pretty awesome cover, but it's not a keeper for me. I believe I probably got this in a mystery box based on the hit animated series. Yeah, so that's pretty awesome, especially if you like anime. So, but not a keeper. Let's go on to the next one. This one actually, I want to say that this one I grabbed pretty recently. They had a special on it or something. I think I paid like ship. I can't even remember. I just remember I seen some special on it. So I went ahead and grabbed one. I don't know if I'll keep it. I probably will not keep it in my collection. But this is Cobra Commander. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, this one is a new one too. This one I just received in a swap box. It's not a keeper for me. It's a cool comic. Yes, it's a cool comic. It is a variant edition, but this is Deadpool. But if you know me, I'm not a Deadpool fan in any way, shape, or form. So that will not be a keeper for me. Next cover here is a keeper. This is DC Rebirth number 21 and this is a wonder woman so that will be a keeper for me that's a pretty awesome cover this cover is i love this cover okay this is also another wonder woman rebirth this is number 26 check out that cover that cover is fire that's pretty awesome love that one the next one we got here is wonder woman actually okay i just realized i got one on both sides here which is fine. Originally I did this because I didn't have enough um, backers and bags, but I do now. I just need to go in and fix all these that are doubled up like that. This is Wonder Woman Shatter. That's a pretty cool cover. And on the back side, we have another Wonder Woman and Challenge of the Gods Part 2. It's a pretty awesome one. That one will be, both of those will be keepers. This next one is really awesome. And if I remember correctly, I think I got this one from Teresa Newell. But check out this freaking one. Kiss Zombies. Look at that cover. That's freaking awesome. I love it. So that's a pretty awesome cover. So definitely a keeper for me. And on to the next one. Okay, the next one here, again, is back to back because obviously I didn't have enough bags and boards at the time. And this is part one of Gotham City Garage. I believe I have the whole series of this. Just not sure that they're all in here together. And then on this side, we have Gotham City Garage part two. Pretty awesome. I'm really, I really love these Gotham City Garage garage covers. They are pretty awesome. Probably not something I'm going to keep since I'm really trying to weed down my collection. The next one we got here is a virgin cover and this is Vampirilla. And this one actually Vampirilla Strikes Again number 10 and it's the virgin cover. Pretty sick. Love the whole skulls along the side here. So it's a pretty awesome cover. On to the next one. Now back in the day, this was my mother's favorite hair metal band in the 80s. 
And that was Poison, because she just loved herself some Brett Michaels. So that's pretty awesome. Love having this one in my collection. Poison is one of those bands, along with many of these others that I've seen countless times. So that's pretty awesome. Next cover here is Justice League of America. And this cover is pretty awesome. We got Wonder Woman right there. We got some, I mean, Flash right there. Flash, trash, whatever. There's Superman right there. I believe this is Aquaman. I'm not sure who this is right here, but it looks like Green Lantern, but I don't know. But still, this is a pretty awesome cover. Probably not a keeper for me. I've never been a huge Batman fan. It's not that I dislike Batman. I just, I'm very anal about my superheroes not changing. Like, I had a real big issue when, you know, the new Wonder Woman's had come out and it wasn't Linda Carter. Just like with the Hulk, you know, for me, the Hulk is uh, Lou Ferrigno and Bill Bixby. But I know that, you know, obviously... They change. And with Batman, Batman was always changing, even when he didn't need to change. So for me, it was just, there was no set Batman, you know, just no set Batman. So let's go on to the next one, another Virgin cover. This is a Bramparilla year one. And this is another uh, Virgin cover with nothing on it. Pretty awesome cover. I believe I got these in a mystery box. So, all right, let's go. Oh, okay. So here we go again. And these are back to back. All right. So we have Gotham City Garage part three. So that's pretty awesome. And then we got Gotham City Garage Part 4. Like I said, I really like these covers. Probably not ones I'm going to keep. Ooh, the next one's really cool. All right, the next one we have here, which is pretty friggin' awesome. This one here is Guns N' Roses. You got Axel up here, and then you got Slash down here on top of the skull head. But that's pretty friggin' awesome. Now, it does say number two, so I'm assuming there's a number one, so that's one of the ones I would need to get from my collection if I don't already have it, which once I get these sorted out with keepers and non-keepers, I will personally go back and group the ones together that should be together. And I still haven't decided what I'm going to do with the non-keepers, considering that I'm probably going to have a full box of them. Probably going to put together maybe some mystery boxes or giveaway boxes and go from there. All right, so our next one here is another Justice League of America cover, which has quite a few different people on it. You'll see you got Superman and Batman and Wonder Woman and Cyborg and Aquaman and Tra I mean Flash. And I'm guessing, is that Green Lantern, I'm guessing? But that's pretty awesome. It's a pretty awesome cover. Not really a Wonder Woman cover, even though she's on it, so I'm probably not going to keep this one. We go on to the next one. The next one here, we have another Justice League of America. Pretty awesome. Look at all them flashes back there. Yeah, I am not a Flash fan in any way, shape, or form. If you know, you've heard me say it a hundred times, Flash gives me creepy trucker vibes. If you know, you know. All right, so let's go on to the next one. Oh, this is a pretty awesome cover. We got Wonder Woman, we got Aquaman, all kinds of them right there is pretty sick. I am, female-wise, obviously, DC Wonder Woman is my favorite superhero. The Hulk has always been my favorite superhero also, but with the Hulk changing and everything, I'm... Aquaman is my favorite, yeah, because he's good to look at too, you know. But Aqua, the current Aquaman is my favorite male DC superhero, because who doesn't love Jason Momoa, right? So we got another Justice League of America, Rage of the Martian Manhunter, pretty awesome cover. The Martian Manhunter on there, not a keeper, of course, but still a really awesome cover. So out of those, we've got this little pile here that we're keeping. And some of these were the new ones that I bought, you know, with the dolly, the pink, and the Black Sabbath one. So down below, let me know out of these covers, what were your favorite? And don't forget, we did a giveaway for the first six. Now we're going to do at least six more videos, and then I'll probably do another giveaway. And then so on, you know, I'd say we got about, I don't know, maybe another, we'll probably get another six to nine videos. I'm not really sure. But we'll split it up, you know, with the keepers and the not keepers and the giveaways because I don't want to wait too long before I give something away. But don't forget, the only way you're going to get entered in that giveaway, there's two ways. One, comment on every video in the series. 
Two, join the Patreons. They get the giveaway anyways. And if they comment, they get double entries in the Patreon and the viewer giveaway. So don't forget, there is a link down below if you're interested. Otherwise, stick around. Check out that Patreon video. You could be part of it. And don't forget, we'll see you in the next one. Keep on rocking.